What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Google is on their shit right now. We just got a huge announcement from Google slash YouTube. If you don't know, Google owns YouTube in regards to the future of gaming on YouTube. And this is the reason I knew this was happening. This is why I was telling you guys I'm moving my stream to fucking YouTube. I want to focus on YouTube because now YouTube has something brand new coming onto the scene, my friends. Introducing motherfucking YouTube gaming. YouTube launching its own dedicated gaming app and website, YouTube Gaming. This was announced a few minutes ago. We are here right now. I was linked to this by Ryan. Shout out to you, man. But then again, you know, this news was big. I, I learned about it the second it came out as well, too. I didn't know when it was coming out, but I knew it was coming out some point this summer, and I didn't realize it would be this soon, or at least announced this early. Guys, we have YouTube gaming now, and like I said, this is going to change the game, and YouTube's perspective on gaming in terms of, like, you know, videos, content creation, live streaming, everything is changing now. Every single thing. We, we have a competitor to Twitch now, but let's go into the details for this right now. This is my first time actually seeing the article as well, too. Although I did have some foresight into YouTube gaming becoming a thing, I didn't know what it would be called or the details of the program other than it addressing and reconstructing their live streaming platform and a, a bunch of other things as well, too. YouTube launching its own dedicated gaming app and website, YouTube Gaming, um, just a few minutes ago, actually. So let's take a look at this. YouTube is getting more serious about gaming, and I this is exactly what... You, you knew it was happening. The only reason YouTube didn't buy Twitch is because the government stepped in and said they couldn't do it. Because if they did so, they would hold a global conglomerate on user-generated content and they would have a monopoly going on. And YouTube can't have a monopoly on, um, on, on generated content or else it would be fucked up industry for anybody else to try to get into. YouTube is getting more serious about gaming. This summer, the video streaming service will launch YouTube Gaming, a new app and website dedicated to gaming content, let's plays, live streams, speed runs, and more. Baby, this is what I've been telling you guys. YouTube and Google, man, they're changing the game. They're changing the game, man. Twitch, they were on top of the live streaming for a while, but they got a viable competitor now. And you know what? I feel like YouTube knows its errors. They know their mistakes. They knew their user interface and their layout fuck-ups. And they are going to be doing everything possible now to be able to change and bring those up to date and make live streaming a very viable option on their platform, among other things as well, as you can see. YouTube Gaming is built to be all about your favorite games and your gamers. With more videos than anywhere else, YouTube Gaming product manager Alan Joyce said in an announcement, from Asteroids to Zelda, more than 25,000 games will each have their own page, a single place for all the best videos and live streams about that title. They're learning from Twitch, baby. I told you it was going to happen. Didn't I tell you? Everyone was like, yo, Etika, why are you streaming on YouTube? Why do you care about YouTube streaming so much? Because I knew this was coming. I knew this was coming. No one believed me. They said, no, no, YouTube's live streaming platform is going to suck for the rest of its life. Of course it isn't. They know. They know the value in having super strong live streams. And Google servers are centuries beyond what Twitch has to offer right now. So, I mean, this is a reason to be hype. For the content creators, for the viewers, YouTube is bringing live streaming to the forefront in terms of gaming and entertainment purposes. And good God almighty, my dick is rock hard in preparation for that. It's rock hard right now. Rock solid. Anyways. Um, you also find channels from a wide variety of game publishers and YouTube creators. At an event for the company's LA studio today, YouTube's global head of gaming partnerships, Ryan Wyatt, talked about the gaming importance of gaming, the growing importance of gaming for online videos, particularly live streamed video. Bam, baby! Yo, Twitch, Twitch, I don't know. Oh, man, Twitch, Twitch, y'all better get ready, baby. We all better get ready, Twitch. Oh, man. Oh man, Google's in here. Google's in here, baby. I mean, I sound like such a fanboy right now, but Google's in here, baby. Oh man, Twitch. Y'all better get ready. Y'all better, y'all better lube up. Y'all better lube up. Y'all ready? Y'all in that position? Y'all better lube up, man. That dick is coming. That Google dick is coming. Get ready. Oh, get ready. Oh man. Particularly live stream video. But that said, YouTube has never really built gamers the experience that they deserve. We know this, YouTube. You've been fucking up your user interface for gamers for such a long time now. You had so long to learn. But that's the thing. Everyone thought that YouTube and Google had nothing to do with gaming and live streaming and that they were going to leave it on the table, never to be touched again. But if there's one thing Google and YouTube know how to do, it's adapt. And adapt better than almost any other website in the world. And that's what we're seeing today, baby. YouTube gaming has been built from the ground up for gamers by gamers. 
promising that no longer is gaming going to be a lost in a sea of content. We are putting more focus on gamers. Everyone kept saying, why does YouTube not care about gamers? Why does it treat the gamers with so little respect? It doesn't give them any kind of any kind of boundary in terms of, they don't give them any kind of free reign. They gamers seemed like they were really constricted on YouTube and YouTube didn't really care about them and wasn't promoting them. But no, all this time, for the past few years, they've been building a dedicated platform to house gamers and promote them in the best ways possible. These things take time. And if there's one person in this goddamn YouTube comments for this video or in my channel in general, if there's one person out there that understands the importance of it taking time to improve your craft, to master your craft, to be able to deliver the experience that you want your audience to have at the utmost quality humanly possible, it's your boy. It's your boy. I care more about quality and presentation than anything else on my channel. And I want to make sure that if I'm working on something and I'm bringing it to you guys, that it's the best I can humanly do. I will bleed. I will sweat. I will, I will, I will do anything. I will do anything to ensure that I'm able to bring that quality premium experience, even if it takes a long time. Because at the end of the day, the benefits, the results, will always outdo the means to get there. You struggle to be able to give what the people want. And that's exactly what my prime focus is. And that's exactly what YouTube's been doing. That's why I love this goddamn platform. Do you understand where I'm coming from? <sighs> oh, man. The YouTube gaming app and website will let users subscribe to channels and be notified instantly of live streams when they start. <laughs> Suck my dick. <laughs> the service will also make recommendations based on the user subscribed channels. YouTube Gaming puts game live streams front and center in its apps, Joyce said, emphasizing its importance. And when you want something specific, you can search with confidence, knowing that typing call will show you Call of Duty and not Call Me Maybe, Joyce said. Bam! YouTube Gaming also, also promises new features for live streamers, making it so that streamers don't need to schedule their events ahead of time. Thank you, YouTube! Thank you, YouTube! Product manager Barbara McDonald will show off YouTube's improvements for live streamers at today's event, walking attendees through the streamlined process that only requires a few clicks to set up. Oh my god, YouTube, do it to me, baby. YouTube, you can have my body. YouTube Gaming will let streamers enable DVR devices, so re rewind, so enable DVR, so, re so viewers can rewind a live broadcast, and new low latency streaming option will let streamers really interact with their fans while gaming. That's, that's, oh my god. McDonald also promised improvements to chat moderation, something she said users have been requesting, and YouTube says it will launch YouTube gaming in the US and the UK this summer. I kept telling you guys, this summer, YouTube's changing the game. This summer, everything's going to come different. And now, you have it. I'm here. Let's go. YouTube, we in there, baby. We're going to take over this motherfucking platform. Let's fucking go, baby. I'm out. Peace out, guys. I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one, my dear.